assistant is one of the most irritating things to hear, but the thing that's even more annoying is that it's true. We all want to be consistent, but how do we do that? How do we actually create consistency so it fits in our lives? What does consistent mean? Are we supposed to post every day? Are we supposed to post once a week? Are we supposed to post every other week? What are we supposed to be consistent at? And then once we know that, how do we actually get and stay consistent? I have figured out a system that's going to help you create the consistency that you want. So let's dive in. Number one, the key to consistency is to plan. I know that's not sexy, it's not the fun, it's the thing that nobody wants to do but it matters. There is no right or wrong plan. There's just a matter of doing it the way that works for you and your audience. And something that a lot of people get stuck in is they will create a massive ambitious plan where they're gonna post five YouTube videos a day for the next, you know, six months and they're gonna blow up and what happens when they do that? They burn out by day two. We wanna avoid that. And so it doesn't matter how often you post. Are there best practices? Sure, but at the end of the day, what matters is what you can do consistently. If you can post one video a day consistently, do that. If you can post five TikToks a day consistently, do that. And when I say consistently, I mean for at least 30, 60, 90 days. So if you want to grow on YouTube and you're like, all right, I wanna post a video a day, but I don't have a ton of time to edit, what are you going to pick? If you're newer, it would be better to pick quantity out while you're building up that quality. You just have to know that your edits or your footage might not be as top notch as you want it to be, but you're going to work up to that. And if you are going to make a plan like that, you want to make sure that you have it a part of your plan when you're going to up level. Because if you say, okay, I'm gonna post one video a day for the next 30 days, and then after the 30 days, I'm going to cut back to three videos a week, and I'm gonna up my editing a lot because I'm gonna get so good in the next 30 days that if I am moving down from seven videos a week to three videos a week, I know without a shadow of a doubt, I can kill it with the edits. Do that. This has to be a part of your plan. And you have to consider life when you're creating your plan. I'm a single mom. I am the type of person I love content creation. I love social media. I'm that content nerd. I love doing this stuff, but I have to be aware that I don't have the ability to post five TikToks a day and go live on YouTube and go live on Instagram and do like four podcasts a week. I can't do that. I got a kid to take care of. I got bills to pay, right? Like these are things that I have to think about. So when I create my plan, I need to keep that in mind where I either A, think about the life that I currently have and fit the content creation piece around it, or I decide, okay, this is what I realistically can do. I'm gonna push it to its limit and I'm gonna really test my commitment here. And I'm gonna work my life around the content creation so I can get disciplined and go hard for the next 30 days. And then after the 30 days, I'm gonna reevaluate and see how that went. This stuff matters when it comes to creating a plan because being consistent for a week and then dropping off the face of the earth doesn't help you with anything. You wanna be consistent over a long period of time. Some questions to ask yourself when you're creating content is one, how often? How often are you posting content? How many platforms are you posting content on? Are you streaming? Are you going live at all? And if so, how often? What days of the week? What time? Once you have a plan, put it on the calendar. Decide when your videos are gonna be up write them on a calendar, get clear on it. Once you have your content calendar planned out, the next thing that you need to do is to decide when you're gonna create the content. Create a batching plan. Are you gonna sit down and film a ton of shorts or TikToks at one time? Are you going to film all of your B-roll or all of your A-roll at a certain time? Create a plan and then decide that you're going to show up for it. Decide that these things go on the calendar and they don't move. We have to decide to be committed and disciplined enough to be consistent and stick to our plan. So something may come up and you're gonna wanna go out with friends or you're just gonna feel like crap and you're not gonna want to do the work. You're not gonna want to show up because content creation is great but it's also exhausting and there's gonna be days where you don't wanna deal with it. You have to decide that once these things go on the calendar, they don't move. You'll say, hey guys, I'm really sorry, I'm actually working tonight but are you free on Thursday? You're gonna have to communicate this stuff with those people and there are people that are not gonna understand and that's fine. You have to know yourself well enough and you have to know your definition of success enough to where you're going to stick with it and you do not quit. The key to consistency is following through when you decide to do something. This is what I wish I would have done when I started my content creator journey over 10 years ago. The hardest part of consistency is sticking to it. And this is why some people make it and some don't. Consistency matters. I don't care if you're posting once a month or once a day. You gotta be consistent. And then once you get consistent with that, and once you stick to your plan, make changes, get the data from the plan and then move 
forward. Now, before you sit down and make your plan, you're gonna wanna figure out, now that you know how to be consistent, what do you want to be consistent at? What are your goals? And if that's you, you're gonna wanna watch this video right here because I teach you exactly, step by step, how to create a goal for social media.